in my career, when I walked out of this training, it was night and day. Um, I was making, I don't know, $5.25 an hour um, when I went into the training. And, and from there, I went on just a, just a, uh, a, a, an amazing roller coaster ride of taking on new, more and more and more responsibility, creating value for the people I worked for, ultimately um, becoming a partner in the business and, and then owning the business and just an absolute non-stop ride to success. It's just been amazing. And I can chart it all back to the moment that I did this training. You know, money is something whether, you know, you have a tiny bit of it or a whole lot of it, most of us will say, yeah, I'd like more money. And, you know, at the Great Life Foundation, uh, we don't have money trees, you know. We don't hand it out, you know, with gold stars that we give you. But what we do is give you an opportunity to take a look at the beliefs you have that have kept you from having more money. You know, where do you hold your worth? Where do you hold the value and the skills and the talent that you have? When you dig down deep inside, you'll connect with that person who really thought being president of the United States was a possibility or thought that going to the moon was, there was a real chance of that or thought, hey, no problem, I can be a fireman someday and save lives. And to really tap into that creative, imaginative piece of you where everything is possible. I had a small company, seven employees. Um, by the time that I finished, a month after I finished the training, it take me three years to get to seven employees. A month after I finished the training, I had 65 employees. I had raised three and a half million dollars in cash that was in my bank account from outside investors. My business just absolutely exploded. And um, I was able to sell my business about a year and a half later uh, for way more money than I ever imagined. I mean, I never even dreamed of making that much money. And a lot of it was just because I finally got out of my own way. I mean, I, I was in the way before that. And when I started, leveraging and loving the people around me, everything changed. My whole life just ch turned on a dime. I'm an employer as well as a father and a husband, and I've experienced hundreds and hundreds of people in their career paths. And the, what I've seen quite honestly is that the biggest thing in everybody's way is an opportunity. It isn't luck, it isn't education. It's that we self-sabotage. We go in and actually make it impossible on purpose almost to get what we say we want. And as I've looked at hundreds and probably thousands of careers, I've seen that over and over and over again. As I left the second level of this training, I, I thought, you know, I wanna grow my business, I need to raise $100,000. At that time, and I left to drive from Salt Lake City to Phoenix, as I drove out of the parking lot, I said, I've got a, I've got a goal. My goal is to go out and raise $100,000 to grow my business. And at that point in time, that was more money than I'd ever seen in my life. I didn't know anybody in my life that had $100,000. So that was going to be a real challenge for me. By the time I got about an hour away, I said, you know, $100,000, though, that's pretty doable. I want to raise $300,000. And as I got you know, as I got halfway there, I was at 500,000 and a million. When I got to, by the time I got to Phoenix, I said, you know, the number is so mind boggling, so challenging, I can't even comprehend it. Because I didn't know someone who had $100,000. My number was three and a half million dollars. And, and I said, I'm just gonna test this. I'm gonna test this process. And as I got totally clear, as I was totally committed to the three and a half million dollars, what I, over the next 14 days, I experienced Mirkov. Everybody I sat by on an airplane, I sat by more people that had money they needed to invest that had just sold businesses. You know, I had like six potential investors in two weeks. And three weeks later, I had all the money in the bank. But I picked, I actually, not, it wasn't even a fluke. I chose between multiple investors which one would be the best partner for me. And I had no idea it worked like that. That, that is how it works. You know, but I had to get rid of my inside stuff first of all before I could ever start manifesting that on the outside. In going that deep I unlocked I unlocked some amazing doors and in the 15 years since I've done this since I've originally done this training uh, it's been a just it's just been a rocket ride. Um, it has been an amazing opportunity um, to live life in greatness and to experience profound blessings in virtually every area of my life.
the more confidence in what it is you bring to the table and the value you have, that easily translates into how much more money you will get paid and how much more money you will ask for and people will be willing to give you because of the value you, you create. Because, I mean, you know deep inside you there, there's this greatness. I mean, as adults, we've been buffeted so many times by what goes on in this life that a lot of times we begin to really buy the limitations um, that we can't achieve this or can't do that or that life is an either-or proposition. My um, experience with many people is that they hold themselves so small. They believe so little in their skills or talents or they believe so much in how everyone else has told them they're not worth anything that that translates into how much money they do or don't have. You know, so that's another area where the Great Life Foundation supports people in having more money. Not because we give it to them or because we say, you know, go do this and you'll have lots of money, but we assist them in finding out their value and their worth. And oftentimes that translates into, you know, increasing their income. And I decided in this training that this was a universe of abundance, that, that there was limitless opportunity in this world and that everything was possible. And then I, I simply I just put that to the test and, and time and time again, it proved to me that, yeah, if I was open, um, I could have it all.